Hello everyone and welcome to the Big Environment Pack Reforged Content Bundle Quick Start Guide. In this video we will be going over what the intended workflow for this pack is and how to use the tools it gives you effectively. So to get started here you're going to want to make sure that you have the Big Environment Pack Reforged, Gaia, and Gina downloaded and imported into your project. Once you've done this, download and import the Big Environment Reforged Content Pack and then you're ready to get started. The first thing you want to do here is, of course, make sure you have opened the Gaia Manager, and then you're going to set your target biome to the Big Environment Pack Reforged biome. Our workflow will be Manual and Stamper, and let's create our terrains. We're going to use this 4K Hills 2 stamp here, although I will change it so that it is a bit higher off the ground so that we don't have any water in our scene and we will stamp that down onto the terrain. So now that we've stamped onto the terrain, we're going to create our runtime. And now things are already looking quite good. However, this isn't delivering that Dark Souls-like look that you want for this pack. So what you're going to want to do is go to Guy Runtime, Guy Lighting, and then save and load, load from file you will find a lighting pack in Assets, Procedural Worlds, Content Packs, Big Environment Pack Reforged, and Lighting. All you need to do is click on this lighting asset and open it. It'll give you a prompt and you should answer yes, and there you go. It'll add the post-processing stack and a bunch of other little details that make this scene look much more Souls-like. So now, before we continue with spawning our biome, we're going to take a bunch of our Gina spawners that we have in this pack and disperse them throughout our scene. This way, when we um, are doing this stage of the spawning, we won't have to worry about trees getting in the way and things like that. And we can get a much better view of what our scene overall will look like. So we're going to use the castle one going to use uh, this large bridge and a wood house and then for rocks we're going to use a crater we can use a couple rock formations and we will also use small cliff one and small cliff two all right i'm going to move this to the side for now and we're going to use this castle here first. So we should spawn our castle somewhere around here, I think, in the corner of our scene so that we have a bunch of room to do whatever we like. And I think we'll spawn it just like this. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now we have this castle in place. I will place the second biggest thing, which is this crater. I think we can put the crater down here. That's a pretty interesting spot for it. And there you go, we have a crater fully spawned there. Now let's disperse the third largest thing, which is these large rock formations. And I'm only going to put a couple because they, they are pretty big. Perhaps one over here, one over here. All right, that's pretty good. And now these small cliffs. The small cliffs are one of my favorite parts of this pack because they just add so much to your terrain. You use the small cliffs on um, a bunch of these little cliffs around your scene. So you can see this is a small terrain cliff. And then we can add this to it to make it look way more interesting. Add another one there. And perhaps facing this way, another one. And there you go. We have a little uh, much more interesting cliff in our terrain there. I'm going to go around and disperse these small cliffs throughout the terrain now, and then I'll show you sort of what the overall effect can be and how cool your terrain can start looking when you start adding a lot of these cliffs. And there we go. I've added many of these little cliffs around and you can see that they give the terrain a lot of depth and uh, make these uh, otherwise uninteresting ridges look very cool. 
next thing that I want to do is place a large bridge. So I think I will place it uh, along this valley just to show sort of the ideal location for a large bridge like this. And it looks like that was a bit too far down the cliff. That is much better. And you could perhaps put a Lapa River or a normal river or a road underneath this bridge and it looked quite good, I think. And then last but not least, we will place a large house over in the corner of our terrain here. And like the castle, this large house is 100% populated. It has a randomized bed, fire, shelves, and all of that. And the same with the castle. If we come in here, it has four randomized, five randomized buildings, the chapel, uh, four uh, just sort of normal houses, which have two floors, and then our big tower. So the tower has four floors, I believe, and is quite populated with all sorts of things. Uh, let me turn gizmos off as they're rather distracting. Here's the barracks room, and here's the top, which is quite nicely furnished. So now that we've placed all of the Gina things that we would like in our scene, we'll now spawn our biome. All right, so our biome has been spawned, and now you can see that these trees have uh, gone around, we've textured again around these little these rocks to make them blend a bit better with the terrain. Beautiful trees have been added. This is quite nice. Mushrooms, ferns, everything really. And even within the keep, there have been some trees added which had a, a nice set of greenery. And you can see that grass hasn't spawned. We're going to want to refresh the terrain prototype on the first, and then refresh the terrain prototype on the second. Now you can see the grass is appearing on our terrain, but it's at a much lower density than we would like. To solve this, we'll go to our Gaia terrains, expand it, and then to our terrain settings. And we'll change our detail resolution from 256 to 1024. Now respawn our grass, and there we go. We have grass blanketing our terrain now as well, and that it makes everything look just that much better. That concludes the quick start guide for the Big Environment Pack Reforged content pack. Please let us know on Canopy if you find any issues, and we will fix them as soon as we can. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you have a great time using the pack.